It is hot as balls today. Update from where I left off yesterday. Um, I was feeling a little defeated, but it's okay because apparently inspiration comes at one in the morning and uh, I solved my own problem. So, what I'm about to do now is finally get to secure the motor mounts. And uh, I gotta say, pardon the noise outside the boat. Uh, Jake is sanding by hand, unfortunately. Um, but I'm about to secure these motor mounts onto the engine pan, and uh, first step of installing this motor will be done. I'm so excited! So excited! <laughs> Well then, that's how you connect two sprockets with the chain. Ha <laughs> ha! Nope, don't you, don't, don't you dare use that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll hear the vaudevillian music. Dun, 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 dun. So I just finished connecting things together. So I just finished connecting things together. Have you run over the same thing like five times? What? I'm a hot. What I'm working on, you'll have seen already because it was done in a different episode. Here's a little secret. We don't always put these in perfect order. Just pay attention to my hair link. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Nicholas, go to your hole! You look like freaking, what is that, whack-a-mole, like you're going down? <laughs> okay, so I'm on a journey to the center of the boat. Looking for the wires that were attached to the motor. So, now. But they seem to be stuck on something. Unfortunately, it runs underneath the floor, so I, I can't... see what they're stuck in. You do? Uh-huh. What is it? The throttle and um, throttle and gear shifter from the motor. Those need to come out first. So we're gonna try this. As far as I can tell, they look like they were stuck on this, which is just wrong. I'm recording, Jake. You don't have to... Can you see both me and Nick? Yeah. So... Throttle. Hopefully that works. What was this? What was what? This. That's the throttle. Oh, this was the gear shift? Or, no, that was choke. Sorry. For that. Watch your shins. 
Okay, so this is a big moment for us. We pulled out all the wires that attach to the gear shift, um, and then now we are pulling out the gas hose. Yeah. This um, gas hose, obviously, as you've seen in a previous episode, the tank was pulled out. But this means this is the last thing containing a trunk. What kind of else? Exhaust. The last thing containing oil. Oh, okay. So anything, the last gas-related thing is officially leaving the boat and being cleared out. So it's kind of a big deal. Also, it took up a lot of freaking space. It's fat. Tons. And it looks like a spider. So let's do it. Yep. This is a giant thing. It looks like a spider that's shedding, shedding its skin. Trying to keep it up just in case there is anything in it. Pretty sure it would have evaporated by now, but one would assume. I see so you dramatically cast it to the wind. One small step for us, one giant step for the fight against global warming. Fly, snakey, fly. Snakey didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> so we built an aluminum frame to support our motor controller. It's kind of heavy. And uh, it was a bit of a engineering feat had us puzzled for far longer than I'd care to admit, but we got it made. So now I'm finally installing it so that we can put this engine project pretty much to bed. All that'll be left is putting one pulley onto the motor, uh, the dry belt, and all the electrical. Okay, so next we need to install this Orion TR4812. Oh, I just stop recording? No, I had to shift over to because it was blown out. Okay. So why are we doing a 48 to 12 converter? Okay, so this is a DC to DC converter. Our batteries that we have yet to install are going to be wired in series bringing them up to 48 volts. Now, we also have a 12 volt system that we have to maintain. So this will take the 48 volt load from the batteries and convert it into 12 volt, charging our 12 volt batteries and allowing us to power our 12 volt system. So why not switch everything over to 48? Because there are certain systems that are just 12 volt and honestly, I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the money rewiring the entire boat now, when all the 12 volt systems work perfectly fine. So we're adding to it rather than redoing it in its entirety. So it's additional power. Yeah. Okay. okay. So these are the existing batteries that were already in the boat when we brought it. Um, they're deep cycle batteries. They're lead acid. So, and they worked fine. Um, there was nothing wrong with them, so we thought, why get rid of them? They're already wired together for the 12 volt systems. So, we need to get rid of them. We'll just use our new batteries to basically power them. So, this is them. 
they won't last as long as our other batteries because the two other batteries, the Tesla batteries, are lithium ion and it has replaceable cells, so therefore it can continuously for all eternity be updated should one of them die instead of having to replace an entire battery if it goes bad, which is lithium ion. Which also lithium ion just lasts like lithium ion lasts for like longer. ever. So that is the plan. So now to do this converter. And I'll throw it back to Nick because he's the one who puts the drill to metal. Which is a lie. I do stuff too, but he's doing this. Just let him feel good about it, guys, okay? Let him feel good about it, guys. I swear, I never, I never in my whole entire life going to take the two pieces of wood, mount it to the inside of the locker under the nav desk, and then mount the converter to that. Otherwise, we'd have a bunch of screws sticking out the other end of the nav desk. Nobody and we that. don't want that. Can you imagine me sitting in that aft berth and you sit down and you just lose your arm? Like your whole entire arm? Because a tiny little number 10 one inch screw scraped it off? Can you imagine? Yeah, I thought so. One can hardly imagine. So you know exactly why we're doing this. Because that mental picture I just put in your mind? Yeah, you're terrified. You're scarred for life. You're welcome. This isn't exactly easy to do. It's already stripped. That's why I'm in. Okay, that's in. Okay, so before we can start installing some of the uh, fuses and do some wiring, we need to remove a few pieces um, over at the nav desk to do some editing. So the last thing we're going to get done kind of in this moment is we're going to install this negative bus, negative terminal bus in the um, engine compartment. And then we will hit the road so we can go grab a battery charger for Nick's regular drill because the other one has too much torque and we keep stripping screws and breaking things so don't want to keep doing that so we're gonna install this thing and then we'll have to make the long drive back to his parents house to go pick it up so that's basically everything we wanted to accomplish today we actually wanted to accomplish all of this yesterday and then we ran into some technical difficulties in the form of a drill dying and we thought we had a backup but that backup turned out to be Thanos and it snapped away all of our freaking screws. So. Now, we hit the road, Jack, and we go and get this other drill battery thingy bubble. We'll see you guys in the morning. Or well, maybe later today. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Don't know how this day's gonna go. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next week as we continue updating our electrical system.